Uh, I rise uh, today to uh, speak in support of House Bill 4528, which expands the Michigan Health Professional Recovery Program to include emergency medical personnel. This program enables the health professionals to receive assistance for mental health and substance abuse issues. It is a confidential, non-disciplinary program to address the growing substance abuse crisis throughout Michigan, including my county, Macomb County, which has been hit extra hard. It enables affected workers to take a leave of absence to get the help they need without losing their job or their license to practice. The program is not mandatory. The individual has the choice whether or not to participate. Affected workers pay for their own treatment, whether through their own insurance or out of pocket. The expansion of the program would cover 29,000 emergency medical personnel with minimal, if any, additional cost to the state. According to, recent, uh, according to a recent study by the National Institute of Health, emergency health care workers are at an increased risk of PTSD, depression, and substance abuse. As a former paramedic, I know firsthand the demands of the job and the stress that having, I know firsthand the demands of the job and the stress that having to make life and death decisions entails. Expanding this program will not only help those who are there for us in the time of emergency, but will protect patients receiving treatment from impaired healthcare professionals. It is designed not, to just, not just to save lives, but the livelihoods of the people in our community that we rely on in a crisis. Mr. Speaker, I would like to thank the representative of the 47th District and the members of the Health uh, Policy Committee for their support. And again, I support House Bill 4528 and encourage my colleagues to do so. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative Yanez. On final passage, record roll call vote is required. Clerk will open the board. All those in favor will vote aye. Those opposed will vote nay. Members, you may vote at your desks.